Yeah. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to this episode of Lockout Men Makes the Call, the dark edition. I guess it's dark because I made the call last night while the sun was going down. And you guys probably could barely see me, but I want to apologize for that in advance. Go, go, go. Let's do this. I missed last week. Last week was, you know, I was home. I had some personal business to attend to that you guys could check out in previous videos. But now I'm back. Back at it. Back at it again for you guys. That's what I do. The call I made this week was part of a um, subscriber request. But it was also a part of a video that I seen with uh, Guilty718 and also it was part of, you know, since the last call I made was, was, was kind of, was kind of disappointing, but it turned out well, you know, so thank you, Donna, for, you know, giving me the information I asked and letting my subscribers know about CRST. This call this week is to CR England. Yes, CR England is a truck or is a CDL sponsored trucking uh, trucking company. They have their own CDL school. So if you don't have your CDLs, it is you can go to them and see if you can try to get your CDLs with them. Again. Um, as with CR Eng or not CR England, CRST, it is accelerated. So when you get in there, they're gonna hurry up and get you your, your permit, and then they're gonna hurry up and get you your license. I strongly disagree with, I really do think that you need additional timing with, uh, with driving the truck, but you know, some people catch on faster than others. CR England, what, what is it about them? Well, not only that they had their own school, but they also is one of the largest uh, refrigerated trucking companies out here, as well as one of, the lar one of the largest trucking companies that's out here. They have, they have refrigerated, local, over the road, intermodal, you name it, they probably got it. If you're interested in going with CR England, you know, you can you can give them a call and, and see what's up. But let me give them a call first so I can help you see what's up. Alright, so everybody, let's get into it. Let's get into the video that's already in progress. Let's call. CR England and let's see what CR England is all about. Wait, Tammy with a T. No, Tammy with a C. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. It's like a big, it's a mix between both of them. Okay, I'm sorry for butchering your name. That's Cammy. C A M I. Oh, C A M I. See, I'm 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 yeah. butchering your name all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever gets it right. <laughs> How you doing today, ma'am? I'm doing good. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Uh, are you a recruiter? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. Well, I am interested in finding out some information about uh, CR England, and uh, hopefully you can help me out with that. All right. Okay, yeah, I can help you out. I, I won't be able to probably answer all of your questions until, until you do an application, but I'll answer as many as I can. All right, perfect, perfect. Thank you very much. So you guys do offer CDL training, right? Yes. Is the travel and the hotel and the meals are covered when I come there? The travel and the hotel are. 
You just have to pay for your own food. During the time that I'm there, would I get paid? During the schooling, yes. you would not get paid, but during phase one and phase two training, you do get paid. Okay, so we would send you to Burns Harbor. You'd be there for 17 days. And uh, during that 17 days, you are not paid, but then once you start the over-the-road tr training, then you start to get paid between um, $500 and $700 a week. When I receive my CDL license and get hired on, what will be my obligations to the company? 12 months. Uh, you have to just work here for 12 months. We don't take any money out of your check or anything like that. You just have to work here for 12 months. What happens if I decide if I decide to leave or not fulfill my obligation? Then you owe the loan in full. How, how much would that be? It's $5,995. What are your hire areas? Uh, what, what is that? What do you mean by that? What uh, am I hiring area? Oh, which location? Yeah, your hire areas. So, like, yes. Yeah, we actually have locations everywhere. We're the largest trained to hire trucking company in the United States. Um, we have national routes, regional routes, dedicated routes, local routes, and intermodal routes. Where's the uh, terminal located? So you already told me where I will be training. Uh, for the CDL school, but where where would the terminal for the orientation be? The same place? Yeah, the same place. And where you say that was again? Burns Harbor, Indiana. Burns Harbor, Indiana. By, yeah, it's by Gary, Indiana. Okay. Is there a sign-on bonus, or or if I if I come from a school, is there tuition reimbursement? Um, no, there's not. No, there's not anything like that. If you come from a school, do you already have your CDL? Like that, or what do you mean? Say if, say if somebody already comes from a from a school with their CDLs already, uh, is there is there a tuition reimbursement for them? I'm not sure. If you already have your CDL, that would be a different type of recruiter, mm -hmm. and so um, I'm not sure exactly what they do over there. That's the experience team, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure what they. I'm not sure exactly what they do. Is there a sign-on bonus? Uh, right now we have one, but it only lasts until if you sign up like on, like right away, so like the 27th, uh -huh. when our next class starts, and it's um, $150 on your first paycheck, and then a thousand dollars. Um, after you've completed your one-year anniversary with Sierra England. Do you guys uh, require hair follicles, uh, hair follicle tests during pre-employment? We do a, do a DOT drug test, and um, they do random hair follicle tests. So it's everybody takes a urine test, and then they randomly do a hair follicle test. So not everybody has one of it, but um, what's your what's your policies on drivers with felonies? Um, it depends. No, most felonies are seven years. You need to be, um, it needs to be seven years ago, and DUIs need to be five years. So orientation and uh, training. So you already told me where the orientation is held. It's in Indiana. For anybody that's coming in, experienced or non-experienced, is, mm -hmm. is the orientation paid for? If I'm disqualified, would it be my responsibility to get back home? If you just decided to leave, like you just quit, then yeah, that's your responsibility to get back home. If I'm disqualified for anything like that, you guys will send me back home? I think it depends on what you're disqualified for. If you're disqualified because you didn't pass the drug test or you didn't um, bring documents right. that we told you to bring, then you have to make your, your way home. Uh, let's say I get my CDLs and... Um, I'm I'm going to you know be on with a trainer. How long how long is I'm out with the trainer? How long is the training time? The phase one is 165 hours. Now am I am I paid during the training time? Yeah, you're paid during the training time. Okay. The phase one and phase two training. All right, so phase one and phase two of the training time, I am paid for that. Is it is it straight pay or a base pay? What what kind of pay am I? The the phase one training is paid at ten dollars an hour for driving hours, and then your state's minimum wage for on duty non driving work time. So I'm paid by the hour. I'm not paid by the mile or nothing like that. In phase one, in phase two training, then um, it's it's a little bit different. It's like I think that's on like a split. 
it averages five hundred twenty-two to seven hundred and sixty-two dollars per week, but it's um, twenty-eight cents per mile split. Split between you and the you and the trainer? Yeah. Okay, so that's phase. So phase two is like like team driving. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. How long is the wait for a trainer? Um, you know, I'm not sure. That depends on. We've got like five schools. Mm -hmm. And so I think that depends on how many people are in school during that time, what mm -hmm. school you're at. Typical trainer, uh, company trainer, how much experience does that trainer have? You can apply to be a trainer after six months of driving. What will be the CPM after I get finished with my training? And what is the CPM for an experienced driver that's coming in? That I do not know the answer to actually. Do you know this? Do you, do you know the answer to uh, to the CPM for the for the guys that's coming out of school? No, because that just depends on which um, what kind of route they choose. We've got a lot of different routes available, so it's just I mean it could be I mean there's a wide range. Right. Do you guys offer advances for uh, for for the new guys that's coming in? I don't think so. I've not heard of anybody ever talking about that, so I doubt it. Well, what's the uh, what's the pay period there? Oh, uh, once a week. You get paid every Tuesday. How often does the pay increase? That also depends on your experience level and what type of route you have. Okay. That sort of thing. That's it's, it. It just depends. Per diem. Uh, is it offered and is it mandatory? I don't know the answer to that one either. All right, do you guys offer vacations and holiday pay? What's the major holidays that's, that's, that is paid? Um, sometimes it changes sometimes every year, but it's like the main holidays that are paid. What is the number one reason a driver should stay with uh, CR England? I, it's because we're the, the biggest trucking company in the United States. We've got a lot of different companies that we work with, Walmart, Hershey's, Kraft, Coca-Cola, Nestle. It's, we're hauling food, so it's something that's never going to, I mean, even if there's a recession, you know, people always have to eat. We've been around 97 years, and we've made it through all of the recessions. Cammie, thank you very much for your, uh, for your honesty and everything. I really do appreciate that you're taking the time out and, uh, and uh, giving me some of the answers to the questions that I have. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there anything that you can add that I haven't touched on? I don't think so. I think you asked every single question that anyone could have ever asked. Okay. I think you, yeah, that was more questions than I'm used to, yeah. How long, how long have you been a recruiter for the company? Oh, a little bit over a year. Oh, okay. How would I how would I go by getting uh, more information about CR England? You have a website, and if so, what is it? Uh, CREngland.com. What is the uh, what's the CPM for uh, for new driver uh, for new drivers that's coming into the company? Um, it depends on uh, your experience and what position we're doing because we're primarily an over the road company. Mm -hmm. But depending on where somebody lives, there could be some uh, regional dedicated and sometimes local opportunities. So for for general purpose, I'm out of Ohio. Uh, okay. with, two, with two years experience. Okay, and that's recent within the last two years? Yes. Uh, you want to run in all 48 states? Yeah, what, what, what would be the okay. CPM for over the road? Um, if you're running over the road all 48 states, you're out for three to four weeks, so for three to four days. Are you going to go solo or be interested in being a trainer? Uh, solo. The only reason both? Okay, because uh, trainers are high speed drivers. So if you ran solo with two years of experience, uh, we pay on a sliding scale. So most of your runs are going to be paid at 29 cents per mile. However, if you're uh, you're given any shorter lengths of haul, uh, we want to compensate you for those at a higher rate. So your cents per mile will go up if you do shorter lengths of haul, i.e., going up to like 45 cents per mile. So and then, as your experience grows, so does your pay. Okay. If you became a trainer for us, they you would be at the 33 cents per mile mark, um, and also on that sliding scale. But you get paid for all mileage of truck rounds, whether you are driving or your students driving. And then we also pay for all mileage, whether you're empty or full. Students being paid an hourly wage, so that cents per mile can add up pretty quickly for you. You also have uh, a monthly bonus, where is every student that can uh, graduate off your truck and pass the road evaluation within uh, 28 days, and pass out the first time, uh, you'll get a $200 bonus. 
And then also you get a network bonus for every student that runs underneath you until they've been off your truck for one year. You'll get um, a penny per mile for every student that runs underneath you. So that, for example, if you have 10 students in 10 months, um, or after 10 months you have 10 students and they're all running 2,000 miles plus per week, then that penny per mile can add up pretty quickly. Do you guys uh, offer advances for uh, for new drivers that's coming in? Uh, you can, uh, once you're hired on, you can get an advancement. Once right. you're assigned a truck and dispatched a load, then you can request an advancement. Right. Up to $80 twice per week. How often does the pay increase? Every year. Per diem. Is it offered and is it mandatory? No per diem. No now, how about breakdown and detention? Do we get paid for that? Yeah, yeah. So if we're, if we're going to talk na national, we, um, let me get my paperwork here for you. So we do have layover pay and detention pay. Layover pay is $25 per day starting at the 24th hour, paid every 24 hours. Detention pay for uh, over the road company drivers is $16 per hour per truck paid by the minute after the first hour um, and then it depends the clock will start depending on if it's a set appointment or a window appointment what about breakdown put it on the dm and um sometimes they can put you up in a hotel also so gotcha how about we can't really how about how yeah. about multiple stop pay um usually isn't usually that's falling under dedicated so like we have walmart so if you're delivering to stores and there's going to be the live load unload and then that's where the stop pay is going to come in. That okay. doesn't really apply to over the road. So what are what are the average miles that I can get per week? Unlimited. It's, you know, safe, safe within your 70 hours. But, you know, there's usually are, on average solo drivers are looking at between two two to 3,000. Um, but because we're hauling food for some of these larger companies like Walmart, Hershey, Coca-Cola, and so on and so forth, um, there's everybody's got to eat and we've got food to, you know, food to deliver. So, okay. you know, if you're going to run hard, you just let your DM know that you want you want mileage and you want to run hard. Are all miles paid for? Yep, I'm paid for. How are the miles calculated? Uh, Rand McNally. What's the uh, what's the policy on idling? Um, so with our newer equipment, the newer equipment that we're getting is the Freightliner Cascadia. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a smart pack system. That offers up to 10 hours of cooling and 34 hours of heating, and they that it, they're optim the HVAC system is optimized for overnight stays in warm and cool climates. Do you guys reimburse for scales and tolls? Um, we have the uh, best pass for the tolls. Okay. And then I think if you, I believe we would probably, if there was a, um, I know there's situations where you need it's called the uh, AR number. I'm assuming it's your accounts receivable number. Just gather the receipt and the stuff that you would need, um, and then uh, turn that into. And you should uh, get an accounts receivable number from your um, from your driver manager, and then turn that into payroll. What's the percentage of drop points? Um, I'm hearing we're 50 50. Oh, no touch freight. Yep, drop and hook or love load up on. We're one of the largest refrigerated carriers. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've been in business for 97 years, and we're still a family-owned business. Okay. So we're in our fourth generation. If a driver is interested in home time, how, how would his home time work? You just put in a request through your uh, Qualcomm. There's a macro that you do, and you just turn in the request to your driver manager, um, and then they'll approve it or not. And then if it's not approved, then you have to just figure out, work with them to figure out what what they can take you. It all is going to be on, you know, freight dependent. So if someone, I've had drivers kind of come in and say, I got to go to a wedding uh, in, you know, in a month or whatever. Um, I, I always say undershoot what you got to be home for because they can get you, you know, under, they can come in before the day, they can come in on the day, or they can come in after the day. The date is all freight dependent. So now some, some drivers out here, uh, some drivers out here, home time, Home time is is kind of kind of a big deal to them. So yeah. you know, I mean, you know, not not only just you know making money, but home time yeah, is, no. is is more. Trust of a, me, everybody. I'm uh, majority of the people I'm talking to are Monday through Friday, eight to five drivers. So right, you know, some of them are, you know, some some of them are 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 home time dependent. So yep, you know, Trust I mean, me, I'm talking to them. I mean, you know, they, you know, for a driver to put in his request, you know, for home time and not get it for whatever reason, 
you know, it, it may it may present a problem. Well, I mean, like I said, it's all freight dependent and trying to get you home. You know, I don't know how the behind the scenes and what's going on, right. but there's, you know, you've got your DM, you've got your load planner, you've got all these people working together in harmony trying to make it, trying to get you home. Do you know the percentage of, uh, of driver to DM? Would you would you know the percentage of that? How many drivers the DM has? Yeah. I mean, how many drivers? Yeah. So I've heard in a staff meeting some DMs can have 40, 50, and manage them pretty well. Some of them only can have a handful and manage those pretty well. Is there is there slip seating in the, in the company? It depends on uh, some of our dedicated fleets have slip, slip seat. Usually, if you're doing over the road, you're assigned a truck. What's the uh, what's the driver turnover there at CRE? It's industry standard. All right. What's the uh, pet and rider policy there? No pets for company drivers and riders. You need to be uh, working for us for 30 days, and then as long as they're eight years of age or older. Um, you just pay six dollar month insurance. Is there forced dispatch to New York City or California? Yes, you have to take all those assigned to you. For driver comfort, what what amenities do you offer inside the cabs? Okay, so primarily, so generally speaking, our uh, trucks nothing older than three years old. Average age is eighteen months. Primarily becoming Fre Freightliner Cascadia's automatic seventy-two inch raised roof sleeper is now standard. Um. The new Cascadia offers the ability to, to add TVs, microwaves, refrigerators, computers, mobile devices, and much more. Um, and so you just need to have like a cigarette lighter adapted inverter, or if you want more of a installed inverter, you can buy it and our uh, shop can install it for you. So you don't have you don't have inverters already in the trucks? Nope. You have to do either the cigarette adapter or buy the inverter. I think it's a few hundred dollars okay. to get it purchased and put in and then they can I believe can do a payment plan for you. What's the trust governing that? 62. 62. Is it that 62 on the pedal or? Uh, 62 cruise, 60 pedal. What is the number one reason a driver would stay with uh, CR England? That's a good question. Um, I would think because uh, equipment probably one um that there is just like i said um no shortage of mileage so um with the opportunities plus we have a lot of we have growth opportunities if you want to go solo if you want a team if you want to become a trainer um we have all the different opportunities and like i said depending on where somebody lives you can do over the road you can do regional you can do dedicated sometimes local and so they just had different growth opportunities that, that we have. Let's say I haven't driven in say a couple of say a couple of years and I decide to come with uh, CR England. Do you guys uh -huh. do you guys offer a refresher course? Well we're gonna look at your overall experience in the last up to the last ten years. Okay. So de depending on over you know, the max is five or more years in the last ten years, but let's say you only have two years and that was within the last four years and that if I can verify two years in the last four years then yes, your experience. Okay. If you can't meet my basically my fifty percent or more mark, depending on how we look at it, then yes, there is a refresher. Um and then that's at no cost to you and no contract. All right, so how uh, how much how much you think I'll be making after my second year with the company? Well, company wide, the average annual salary for a driver with one or more years of experience is uh, just shy of fifty three thousand, and the average salary, the top ten percent, is uh, seventy seven thousand, and then the trainers are looking at uh, just shy of sixty seven thousand, and the top ten percent at eighty eight thousand. And right. so we look at the actual paychecks of our drivers on, on our fleets, and for each fleet, there is an average and a top 10%. But company-wide, that's what the drivers are making right now. I want to make sure I got your name right. Roma? Uh-huh. R-O-M-A? Correct. All right. Thank you, Miss Roma. I you're really, welcome, sir. I really do appreciate that you're taking the time to, to answer my question. Of course. Um, is there is there any is there anything you can add that I haven't touched on? I think you got your you're doing your research and I'm impressed. Oh well, thank you, thank you very much. So very much. some people don't; they just jump in with two, two uh, with their eyes closed, and uh, I'm I'm proud of you that you're doing your research with uh, each company and making the best decision. Thank you very much, ma'am. I really do appreciate it, and I do appreciate right. the compliment. Well,
I offered the company for you, but if not, you find what's best for you, okay? Yes, ma'am. Um, for right. C for CR England, if I need if uh, I need to find out more information, what's the website I can go to? CREngland.com. Oh, right. you did miss, miss one. Oh. Benefits. Oh, benefits. Okay. Big one. So we have uh, full benefits, medical, dental, vision, 401k, vacation, even company paid life insurance. Your, you, with the medical, dental, vision, you need to sign up within the first 60 days, and then it'll go into effect the following, uh, beginning of the following calendar month. 401k starts right away, and the company will match after one year of service. And then vacation will also accrue, will accrue, and you can start uh, using it after one year of service as long as you meet those criteria for that, which is basically... Um, driving at least uh, so many miles a month, which you would, and being working more than 30 hours per week. I think it's averaging 7,000 miles a month. All right. Well, perfect. Thank you. Thank you for the, for the additional information. You're welcome, sir. All right. Thank you very much, ma'am. And again, yeah. thank you right. for giving me all the information I need. You're welcome. Have a great night. Hey, you too now. And there you have it. Another great call. Man, that was a good call. That was really a good call. Um, Cammy and Roma from CR England. Uh, you know, Cammy, you know, she she only had information for what you know what she was doing, and that was good. And then Roma came in and knocked it out of the park man so thank you very much to Cami and Roma of CR England uh, great conversation if you guys are interested in CR England uh, give them a call their website crengland.com uh, go on there and see what they're about um, for you experienced drivers give, give um, Roma a call and for you inexperienced drivers that's looking for your CDLs give Cami a call that's it for this episode of lockout men makes the call thank you very much for joining me I really do appreciate it and guys let me know what you think of the call you know and also let me know who you want me to call next put it in the comments below and if you have any questions that you want me to ask them, put that in the comments below. Until then, you guys stay safe out there for me. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. All right. Lockout men. Mace the call. Peace.